All right, so as of one hour ago, we went ahead and got ourselves the brand new update that introduced Inverted Royal, as well as the Amethyst set and the Miner custom. Now, of course, by this point, no questions asked, and no matter what anybody tells you, yes, the Inverted set is technically the best piece of furniture in the entire game right now. Issue with this is uh, good luck being able to find enough to go ahead and uh, trade for these out in the wild. And if you decide to buy a bunch of them to fill up your entire restaurant, well, I just sure hope that you have a lot of robux to go ahead and um buy the insane amount that you need to get but either way man that is not the point of this video we are going to be talking about the stoves and dishwashers but more particularly the dishwashers because well a lot of you have been complaining to me telling me that there is an unfortunate massive nerf with the dishwashers and unfortunately a lot of you are getting a lot of backups right now as far as like you know the buildup that happens here and i mean i've even seen screenshots of some people that have to wait 600 151 seconds before their entire dishwasher is full it's kind of insane either way man the simple answer to this is uh actually this was done on purpose which is kind of insane but not really so much because of the fact that they did it but a lot with how they kind of didn't announce it for anybody but basically let me break this down for you guys so when prestige was introduced stove specifically had kind of like a difficulty for each and every single one of the recipes if i open up the recipe menu here you'll notice that these are basically the non-prestige recipes when we hover over them it shows you the name as well as the price nothing else but as soon as we get into prestige one you'll notice that right underneath it says cooking difficulty two this also repeats with obviously prestige two stuff except that these are difficulty three before that difficulty only affected stoves but now with this update it's been turned on for the dishwashers so if basically you're operating with only let's say a luxury dishwasher on this side it's gonna be real rough for you you know what i have actually a better idea let's go ahead and pick up all my dishwashers and i'm gonna show you guys what it looks like when you only have a couple of the dishwashers that i'm talking about right now so let's go ahead and uh uh, pick these up okay so if you take a look over here i currently only have two ruby dishwashers down that's it i have nothing else down well as far as dishwashers go and these things are absolutely dominating right now the flow is still going on and they are not even getting backed up so i'm gonna be completely honest with you me having all of those extra sapphires that i had down is completely pointless now that I'm really taking a look at this, but the point is, is that if you can afford these Ruby dishwashers, it's not going to really affect you. Instead, what we're going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and place down some luxury dishwashers. I'm not even going to pick up the Ruby ones. I'm just going to leave those down, but we're going to place down a couple of these luxuries. So right there, only a couple of dishes have gone in and it's already at 60 seconds and that's because different prestige recipes are being added inside of these dishwashers one of my luxury stoves is almost halfway to being full already while the rubies are kind of just kicking back now let's go even way back and say a double sink that's obviously kind of crazy so i don't know who's using a sink but just one dish inside of the sink is 490 seconds it's actually insane and it's going up it's still going point is is that it has absolutely nothing to do with the dishwashers being nerfed i mean i guess to a certain extent yes they were nerfed because well you just can't use any dishwashers anymore the easiest way i can say to go ahead and fix this is to go ahead and upgrade your dishwashers either add a lot more of them or just go ahead and get yourself the best dishwasher at least one or two of them for whatever prestige you are if you're in prestige one or if you're in prestige two ruby ones are looking real good right now like i just said i currently have inside of here 232 seats and with two dishwashers ruby i'm literally able to keep this flowing with no backups whatsoever i know this caught a lot of people off guard but i really wanted to make this video just to kind of clear out the air right now because a lot of people are saying that it's nerfed or glitched which would obviously indicate that there potentially is a chance they could fix it in the future but in reality this is just a feature that probably should have been turned on always at least since prestige was introduced and now it's finally been turned on so that kind of clears that out easy solution just go ahead and upgrade your dishwashers coming back over here to the uh inverted royal set as well as the amethyst that i have over on this side based off of i guess you could say quick math that redacted did on average a full restaurant with inverted makes about 
550 million cash per 10,000 customers served, which is kind of insane. But this is also the reason why I said that without any argument, Inverted Royal Set is now the best set in the game, assuming you're able to afford an entire restaurant of it. Now, my buddy Amethyst over here, it's not looking too good for him. A lot of you in the stream were saying that this one could be potentially better than the VIP. Again, Redacted went ahead and ran some numbers with this. Turns out that this on average makes about 50 million cash per 10,000 customers served, while the Royal set makes about 240 million cash per 10,000 customers served. Again, a lot of this has to do with the fact that the Royal set is a 100% customer rather than the Amethyst is unfortunately not and rather a mix. On the other hand, that also isn't including the Geode. I, I think I'm saying that correctly. Couldn't pronounce this word during the stream and I'm struggling again. But yes, that is obviously not including having this with its full 50% chance which actually reminds me over here the mining drill this is something else that i want to include in the video because there was a little bit of an issue with the mining drill during the stream and unfortunately the placement of it was just a tiny bit broken the only good thing is that because of the fact that it was broken it was kind of working in our favor to kind of fill up our entire restaurant with this but basically what's going on here is that unfortunately the extra slot is registered to the back of the drill when in reality it should be to the front of the drill because it doesn't allow me to place another one directly behind it but i can place another drill exactly in front of it so i feel like that's incorrect and the back block should be in the front so for that reason if you wanted to fill up an entire restaurant with these you kind of would have to do one of these kind of situations but then when it comes down to putting it right behind it you'd have to leave a gap which is kind of unfortunate so what i went ahead and did was I did the no clip glitch to be able to keep everything pretty much in a one square kind of block. So you just bring it around, time it correctly outside, and there you go. You placed one down doing the uh, no clip glitch. So kind of a pain to place a lot of these down. So yeah, I'll more than likely go ahead and do this method to fill up this entire floor with them. And also this was something that was kind of overlooked by everybody. But yes, there is a new cart decoration. Uh, you can only purchase this if you're prestige 2 so i guess that's kind of cool i think it is the only kind of like decoration in the game right now that is locked behind a prestige and i take that completely back the venus flytrap is actually locked behind first prestige i did not know that but yeah you'll find it all the way down here at the bottom in the miscellaneous tab it is five thousand cash to be able to purchase this 100% purely cosmetic, but it does have a cool particle effect on it. Kind of feel like it's a missed opportunity to not include some more decoration items. Like if we got some of these mine carts, we should be able to get like maybe some tracks as well as even like the gems that are inside of there. Just in case if one of us wants to like, I don't know, really decorate our entire restaurant kind of like mine themed. I feel like that'd be really cool. We used to get a lot of decoration back when the game initially released. So I'm not 100% sure why we don't get them anymore. I don't know, just a random idea. I just thought it'd be pretty cool to instead of have like all these random filler items, if we were able to actually decorate this to whatever liking we want, that would be a lot cooler than having just just some random plants everywhere i don't know just me rambling again either way if you guys have any more questions about the update let me know in the comments i'll gladly go ahead and give you the best answer that i can and if it's something that gets repeated a lot i'll make a follow-up video and talk about it i know it's been a while since we published a layout here on the channel so be expecting that hopefully sometime this week i'm also going to be making an updated value list video because i know a lot of you are kind of like locked into the whole my restaurant values but there is a lot of other options out there and i like to make it fair for everyone because I know a lot of you are only aware of that, but there is also Celestial as well as I believe it's called IRC, which is the kind of like Imperial value list that Ark made, one of the layout designers that you guys probably know who he is. Lots of different value lists popping up. We actually got my buddy Redacted working on a little something for potentially my server. It's going to be extremely helpful to all of you that are layout creators and layout testers out there. So stick around for that. Join the Discord. Link is always at the very top of the comments. I'm going to go ahead and end off the video right here. Like always, I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.